a Boom Alley video. As many of you know, I've been working on a new web project with Marla Silly, the Fly Lady. Now, for those of you who are unfamiliar with her, Marla, through her website, flylady.net, teaches people not only how to get rid of the clutter in their homes, but the clutter in their lives. She's really helping people. So, to get a better understanding of what she's up to, I've been slowly getting rid of things that I've been hanging on to, but I'm finding there are certain things that I just can't part with. I'm not talking about Mr. Monkey and Mr. Blanky. I'm talking about things that I never use anymore. Like, these are my roller skates. Not my roller blades, which I haven't used for about five years, but my roller skates, which I haven't used since I lived in Los Angeles in the 1980s. This is my Laverne and Shirley Pizza Bowl bowling shirt. It was a Christmas gift in 1978 from Penny Marshall and Cindy Williams. I have never worn it. It just hangs in my closet. What am I hanging on to it for so that I can impress women when I get to the old age home? Yeah, that's it. You never know. Now, over the years, I've gotten rid of a lot of kitchen appliances that I really haven't used that much. But there's one thing that I just can't get rid of. It's this bread maker. It looks too much like R2-D2. How do you put R2-D2 in the garbage? Don't worry, buddy. You're sticking with me. Oh, thank you. That, that's very nice coming from you. Okay, but the truth is, I really haven't been getting rid of that much clutter or getting the house straightened up. And then this week, Marla, the fly lady, called me. She's coming to visit. I'm not kidding. I'm coming, Mark. I've, I've booked this uh, uh, event that I'm going to do with these ladies, and I'll be there Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. She's coming to my house. This woman who's had a national bestseller, she's been on the Today Show, she's known as someone who keeps her house neat and tidy. She's coming to my house. It's like if the Pope called and said he was coming to your house to personally take your confession. Or it's more like if the world's most renowned proctologist was coming to your house to personally give you your colonoscopy. You know, you'd be honored, but it would still be a big pain in the Okay, so the fly lady is coming to your house. What do you do? Don't panic. Let's say your kitchen counter is just covered with clutter. Sure, you could take a couple of days to start cleaning it up, or you could get a roll of contact paper and just cover everything that's on the counter. Then you tell the fly lady that you're busy suing the granite company for making a counter that's got all those bumps in it. Anything that won't fit under the contact paper, throw it in the garage. Okay, you haven't done laundry for two months. You're wearing a paper bag as underwear, and you're telling your kids that the stacks of laundry around the house, they're a new style of Barker lounger. That's why you're sitting on one. Marla's going to notice that, right? No. You're going to take the cushions from your couch, unzip them, take out the foam, and stuff in the laundry. Then you're going to tell the fly lady that you're suing the couch company for making cushions with all those bumps. The foam? Throw it in the garage. Whatever is lying around. Those special edition newspapers you bought when Obama was elected? The ones that you think are rare and are going to be worth something someday even though they printed about a hundred million of them? In the garage. Those National Geographic magazines that you're keeping because you're sure that someday you're going to need that article about the little people of Borneo. Even though you could probably find it online? In the garage. Whatever is in the way, it goes in the garage. I'm telling you, that's the way to go. Unless, like me, you get another call from Marla. I, I'm bringing a lot of stuff with me, and I need to put a few things in your garage. Do you have room? Okay, so now you're just... So what do you do? Well, you don't have to wait for Marla to call you. Just get started. You don't have to do the whole thing. Do what she says. Take baby steps. Like getting rid of one skate at a time. Baby steps. They work. That's what I think. Visit Boomer Alley and let me know what you think. I'm Mark at BoomerAlley.com. It's Boomer Alley, love.